I am Tominola Lumide. I am a multidisciplinary visual artist. Multidisciplinary meaning that I work between the mediums of sculpture, installation, performance, um, painting, and digital montage. With my work being introduced to the show, I'm focusing on installation, um, particularly focusing on my practice of fabric drawing. Fabric drawings are the manipulation of fabric surfaces, not necessarily like cotton fabrics or whatever it is that we wear and consider as clothes, but really textured materials that are flexible. My earliest memory of fabric drawing really was a primary school. I began playing with these PVC tubes called Scoobies as a way to socialize with people and make friends. I've made work over the years that sort of like draw me back to those times of sort of like being very young and curious about the world and about forms and color. And I think just having memories of making from a young age, not in a continuous way, but memories of sort of like playing around with watercolor in secondary school and primary school, drawing on my body with ink because I was interested in tattoos, but I couldn't get them obviously. That sort of in a way has um, brought itself into my practice as well, just like a playful jungle of curiosity in a sense with materials and things. The turning point really, I think, was when I began uni in England. Painting has always been a really traditional and easy inlet into the art space or into being creative um, in the visual art space. When I began my first year in uni at Southampton, I was interested in sculpture as a medium to explore from the first year. And I started making these plaster hand um, sculptures in own image. I only do paintings nowadays for the fun of it because now I find it as this space to project like explosive energy. So most of that would be um, projected in like abstract paintings and this and that. What has been my creative artistic influence? That is a tough question. Being that I am fed by everything, so fed by memories, fed by family history, fed by personal history. But I would say in regards to like artists who have come before me and who I definitely love their style of working. And this isn't even just an installation. Um, in performance, I really enjoy Adelaide Dumas. Her performance pieces are beautiful and they're very thought-provoking. Leslie Asari as well, she's a British Ghanaian artist. Both of them are British Ghanaian artists. Um, Pedula Iwala, definitely enjoy her installation practices and incorporation with Adire um, fabrics and um, methods of making as well. Her practice really inspires me because I also want to learn more methods of creating fabrics rather than just buying them and intertwining them into my practice and using them as tools. I actually want to um, get ensconced into the process of making and I think creating things from that would really feed me in a different realm. I have collectively like four different practices but in the last two years I focused on only three so that's digital montage, installation and performance. And in installation, as in um, relation to the work that I'm creating right now, it really has to do with like object integration and creating these variables of imprinting memories, imprinting situations and emotional landscapes onto fabrics to create form. In regards to the process, like in the work that I'm making currently, lamentations, um, the lips that keep moving. And as I'm talking with you right now, I'm looking at it because I'm thinking about how I've been able to graft the materials together and sort of like keep them together. Because bear in mind, in past installations, they've always been ephemeral site specific things, meaning that they can come apart afterwards. But I wanted the challenge of trying to make something that stands the test of time and something that's very permanent. In my sculptural practice, it's more of a thing of being very intimate and honest with myself and the audience, if there is an audience. I'm incorporating a lot of vulnerability. Vulnerability in the sense that 
there's banners and in digital montage the process of making just involves manipulating the already existing artwork or elements of reality into these very alternatively punk colorful scenes it could be a thing of me taking you know a finished piece of whatever the installation evolves into and then manipulating the texture and the colors and everything. What comes to mind when I hear the title, I am nothing else. Unseen, othered, and seen. So unseen in the sense that I actually am present and I exist, but because of the structures of what are presently here, like you choose not to acknowledge my presence, then seen, sometimes you see me only if it's a benefit to you other like making a conscious effort by the external to not actually make an effort to appreciate and actually see the value of me in my work in general i would say things are deeply personal intimately so in the sense that they all speak about personal histories as a black woman but also as an african woman there's more pressure to speak about political issues and agency and like social economic um, subjects it doesn't feel welcomed but it's nice to be vulnerable you saying oh your work is about sex or is about cuddling or is about maybe even like the realms of passages in between that and actually be welcomed to the table it's really important because these are all humanistic experiences I love that there's so much breath in the work that's going to be exhibited here. I love that it's challenging stereotypical nuances of who we are as African women. I think one of my challenges was like audience um, interaction and them being able to actually get it. But I've been told by a very wise woman that that's not my issue. <laughs> It is a great thing to introduce something that is so non-conventional uh, to a space that's like very, very different. What role do I feel art needs to play in changing the narratives of African women? I feel it's just a sense of not limiting us to what it is that we're expected to portray, like in our work, our themes not limiting us to color schemes and seeing like pink as like, oh, she's so feminine or, oh, she, you know, it's so sentimental. It's just the color, you know. One area of art history that I would love to change, actually that I would have never loved to have had happen is the stealing of our art artifacts, I mean, artifacts. There have been a lot of um, recovery projects related to bringing them back and everything. But I really would have rather them not be stolen in the first place and not be exhibited at famous institutions. You know, so many other places getting a lot of money and fame and acclaim for things that are actually not theirs. 